So this is the view that everybody sees when you very first log into Google Classroom. And I know that your first inclination might be to just click a class, but I want to show you some other features. I think a lot of you are most familiar with this view, which is the stream. And you'll scroll through the stream and look at posts from your teachers. And yes, you can view assignments and materials and stuff through here too. But this is really not the best place to be your go-to in order to get started working. It can be overwhelming to find what you need and to prioritize this way. When you click on this to-do list right here, you're going to get a list of everything that has been assigned to you that you need to do. Some of it has due dates and those due dates are there in red. The default view gives you everything that is due in every single class and even the stuff that has no specific due date, which is down there on the bottom. Now equally important is this done tab here. When you click on the done tab, you see everything you've turned in. If it just says turned in, then the teacher hasn't graded it yet. But then you see some of this stuff that does have a grade. If you don't like the grade that you got on assignment, you can resubmit it for a higher grade. Now this is an important view to note because you'll see everything that you have to do, whether it's coming up or whether it's missing and it's late, and you'll even see the stuff that has no due date, which is important because those things aren't going to necessarily show up on your calendar. You can also get a similar view by clicking in the dashboard, clicking on the class, clicking the classwork tab, and view your work. When you click view your work, you get that same to-do list again. In this tab, you can actually filter it to see the work you're missing, so you focus on that first. If you start at that menu on the left side and click the calendar tab, it'll show you everything that's due for this week, sorted by little color tabs for each class. So now that whole class view can be pretty overwhelming. So if it's Monday and Monday is an English day, you can go click on English and just see what is due in English. You can go click on science and see what is due in science. You can scroll through all of the weeks and see are there major projects coming up due in a few weeks and that view is really helpful so it doesn't feel so overwhelming to see every class all at once. Another point worth mentioning is that you should take some time to go down to the settings and see what your notification settings are at. If you are getting a million emails and it's stressing you out and then you're just avoiding your email inbox, then go through and change your notification settings to prioritize just the emails that you want. You can also pick specific classes. So if there's stuff in there that you don't want, then you can get rid of the things like the clubs or things that you don't really want to get the notifications for. I hope this quick overview of Google Classroom has helped you to better use it as a tool for organizing your work for distance learning.